Doodle bud. Here we are checking out this lovely pen sent to me by Enso. This is the Italia model. The Italia model was the very first pen I ever purchased from Enso and I absolutely loved it. And since then I've gotten to know uh, Carlo who runs Enso and we've chatted a lot. And he has a new version he's released of this in Ultim. Very nice, lightweight. I gotta tell you, he makes an excellent pen and they're very affordable, well built, all sorts of great stuff. I rarely find any little tiny issues with his pens because he does a fantastic job so we're going to tell you all about it i've been using it for a couple weeks and it is fantastic if you've never heard of the material before i'll say it again it's altum it also stands for pei or polyethamoride it's a engineer plastic really great stuff fantastic for machining corrosion resistance all sorts of stuff used in, in all sorts of applications and it has this nice little uh, color to it some don't like the color it reminds them of something else so i can i see what you're talking about but it, uh, it's actually one of my favorite materials for fountain pens. It's also really good because you can use harsher chemicals to clean out the pen. Uh, you don't want to do that on, say, these beautiful kind of pretty pens. You wouldn't want to use, like, uh, isopropyl alcohol on those. But I have another one of his pens here, the Enso Puma in Altum. And this has been inked with Bay State Blue for, oh, I think it's been at least four months or something like that. And uh, I'm planning to kind of have it at, at six months. So maybe in the new year, I will try cleaning this out. The cool thing with this material is it can withstand some pretty serious solvents uh, to clean it out. Although ammonia apparently is the Achilles heel. So if you use pen wash on your pens, don't go using uh, pen wash on these types of pens because apparently the ammonia will interact with it and it's not so nice, nice. The uh, cap undoes with just over turns like one and, a, one and three eighths or so very comfortable and lightweight it posts um i find you have to put it just a little just a tiny little press to make it that much more secure and fits in the hand quite well you don't need to post it i got a large hand it's sort of like that just long enough unposted if i'm just doing fast stuff i don't post it but if i'm gonna be writing a bit more i'll just press it on there and it's just a touch more comfortable it has a nice clip it's a stainless steel clip and it's uh it has a matte black pvd coating on it down here we have a number six size German nib and this is a black PVD coated nib as well. It writes very, very nice and smooth. Only little thing I thought was we have like a gloss uh, black PVD. Maybe that uh, it should match the clip. That might look kind of nice. I don't know. Just any food for thought anyways. And it has this uh, Greek key that goes on here. It's tougher to see with the Altum on my uh, uh, titanium version. You can see it a bit more. Nice threads on here. These are an Acme style thread. I find on the titanium ones, sometimes they just kind of catch a hair with the Altum. I don't have that whatsoever. The threads are just wonderfully smooth and just work all the time. There is a little bit of a micro texture to the, the pen here that as far as the finish goes in the machining. I don't know if you can see those tiny, tiny little lines on there. It might be too tough for the camera to pick up, but uh, you can hear it. So let me, if you rub your hand on it, you can sort of get a sound of it there. I don't know what happened to the camera. It just went weird for a second. Um, so it gives a nice little texture. So if you're worried about it maybe being slippery or something like that, it, it fits quite nice and secure. Far as dimensions go, let's just jump into those. So it's 139.5, pop off the cap. You got 125 and a half. And when you post it, it's about 154 and a half. As far as uh, diameters go, the thickest part of the pen, which would be here on the cap, 15 millimeters. And then your section starts off about 12 and a half right below the thread there and tapers down to about 11 here right near at the end. And the weight, this is with the converter and ink. I'm recording 18.2 grams with the cap on, cap off. You got right about 12 grams. It is also able to be eyedroppered. So you can see in here, there's a little O-ring on here. Now, that is one little area I would recommend maybe a slight tweak on this is either... Uh, machine a touch less on that inner bore or have a slightly thicker diameter uh, like wall thickness on the o-ring it does fit on here and uh, it seats there we go but it, I, it just a little bit more friction uh, would be a little i don't know especially if you're going to eyedropper it i'm just hyper paranoid about eyedroppering pens so uh, but you do you would need to put a little bit of silicone grease to eyedropper it what i will do is uh you know a little bit here further on in the video i will fill this up with water and check what this volume is you would fill it up sort of you know right to about there or so and i i don't know that's gonna be a lot of ink but just for all you folks who like a lot uh, of ink capacity and eyedroppering pens 
um, yeah, it holds a fair amount. I do find, as I'm showing you here with the barrel, sometimes you just have to give it just a slight turn back to properly engage the barrel onto the section threads here. Comes with a converter. Uh, this is, I believe it's the Schmidt Confer converter, like the K5 uh, style. And uh, yeah, it all comes out nice and easy. If you need to slip out your nib and feed, you can just pop those out as well. So it's a super simple pen, very well built, easy to take apart and clean if you need to. And with the Ultim, you can really clean it. Um, to show you how it seals, so it's there's a little black disc down in there. I think that's made of Delrin, which is a really cool plastic as well. And so what happens is your clip goes in, this cap is here, and there's a screw uh, in behind that disc. You can't see it, but you can see that hole there. That's a threaded hole. So there's a little screw that holds that clip in place and it's retained with this. And to ensure that there's no leaking through that, there's that black Delrin disc and you can see there's an O-ring. You can see that little black line that goes all the way around. That's what's sealing uh, the chamber here of the cap off from out the outside world so it doesn't dry up on you. So it's super simple solution to that problem and it's done quite well and the pen, yeah, it it doesn't dry up on me either, which is quite nice. Running through a quick size comparison, we have a Diplomat Excellence A2 Pelican M805. We got the Enso Italia and then an Estabrook Esti. We got some Rhodia 80 GSM paper dot pad, as you can see. Inside, the ink I have today is Monteverde Azure Noir. The nib here, this is one little thing too. It says medium, as you can see on there. It's, it's put on the nib quite nicely as well. Happy with that. Uh, it does write fairly fine. I'm not sure maybe this nib was mislabeled potentially, but this is fairly thin for a medium. It, it feels more like a fine. So just a quick writing sample here. It's always tough to do a good job through the camera, but yeah, I mean, it just works perfectly. It's nice and balanced. Whether you post it or not, it's so light, that's not gonna disrupt things. The nib has been perfect. I took it out of the box. I inked it. Cartridge uh, converter is included. I think they came with a cartridge too, but uh, so I just put it in the ink, inked it up, pen to page, wrote perfectly, and has done so ever since. So that's fantastic. And then you're getting a very well-built pen, has everything you want. And th these things can take a beating. So if you are kind of rough on your pens, these are, uh, Ultim is so much stronger than acrylics and resins and stuff like that. It's, again, don't go out trying to drop test these, but if you are hard on your pens and you chuck them around, uh, this is a good material for that. Maybe some of you might've just cringe seeing me do that, but it's a, it's a good material. It's strong, it can handle that kind of stuff. Don't go smashing it with a hammer or nothing, but great for kicking around. And then price-wise too, I think it's super fair. So 115 is the standard price as of the recording of this video on the Enso site. Carlo being a super cool guy, hooked us up with a code. So you save 20% if you enter DoodleBud when you do your purchase. So whatever the math is on that, what, 92 bucks? I think that's pretty good. Everything you need, well built, can uh, be a rough and tumble pen. And I think it looks pretty sharp. Now, one thing I thought about doing after looking at the pen was since less material was removed here for this end cap part that accepts the screw versus in the rest of the body, you can see the color slightly different. So I almost thought you can you can polish this. You can actually do a vapor polish. I'm not gonna be doing that here, but I'm curious, maybe I should give this pen a polish to see if we can sort of match things up. That might be interesting to do as well. Anyways, we'll leave it there. Love to hear from you down in the comments. The thumb up button is if you like it and subscribe as if you haven't. Until then, we'll catch you next time.